Well, welcome back to 3 News. Hope you had a wonderful work week. And, uh, you know, it's been about a month we've seen rainfall here in the coastal bend. And thankfully, the radar is getting put to work on this Friday afternoon and evening. Not everyone's seeing rain, but a good amount to our north and west of Corpus Christi. It's a little active, and there is one lone thunderstorm out near Freer and 59 tonight. Now, a closer look, you can see it, just some scattered light rain from Corpus Christi up into 181, Refugio, George West, Beeville, Live Oak County, everywhere northwest of Corpus Christi. But you zoom in close to Alice, and there's that cluster of storms, of which is non-severe at this hour. No hail, no strong straight line winds, although it may be gusty at times. But you'll notice the biggest threat is lightning and some good rumbles of thunder for this evening. Now, as we get into the evening hours and, you know, through about sunset, these storms and showers, they will lose their umph. They lose their strength because of the loss of daytime heat. Yeah, we have a trigger offshore, a trough of low pressure. And that's what's bringing in the moisture and the fuel. But without daytime heat, these showers don't do much. So we'll stay mostly quiet overnight. Another chance at rain tomorrow morning. Mainly isolated in nature. Nothing too widespread. I do think today was our best window of seeing that rain. So again, as we start off the weekend, small chance at isolated showers. But that's about it for rain chances. Pretty much for the next few days or so. Now the big story, the last seven days, incredible heat. I mean, Sunday, Monday, temperature is about five to 10 degrees above average, depending on where you're located as across the coastal bend. Now, right now, temperatures not too bad. Upper 70s, low to mid 80s. That's all thanks to rain cooled air, the storms and showers that push off west into Habernville in our western counties tonight. So again, cooler right now, upper 70s, lower 80s. The heat index, not too bad either. 85 is how it feels like here in the city. Ingleside, 80, 85 in Rockport, and a cool 76 over in Beeville. So tonight's forecast calls for mostly cloudy. Small chance at isolated showers through about 8.30. Sunset around 8.27 tonight, and southeast winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, aloft, high pressure is our main player in terms of weather. Now, the reason why we saw rain is because it weakened quite a bit and that allowed for us to sneak in a couple sea breeze showers and that's about it and through about tomorrow another chance at rain but also more saharan dust you can see on this particular graphic small concentrations working in for tomorrow great news leaving by sunday also into monday so it's not going to be a long-lived episode of dust in the air tomorrow's forecast saharan dust temperatures in the mid 90s Plenty of sunshine, another small chance at isolated showers, UV index up to extreme, and the rain chance really diminishes by Sunday. Mostly sunshine, temperatures above average in the mid-90s, and mostly quiet and clear as we wrap up the July time frame. Leslie. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. And you know what's